Hi, it's time for another math easy solution here to discuss a video on basically further into symmetry and integrals and look at some examples. Basically, I had to quickly recap on the proof that I went over in a couple of videos ago. I did basically uh, when you have symmetric functions, let's say suppose that f is continuous on negative 8a. So if f is an even function, meaning f of negative x equals f of x then we have integral from negative a to a of f of x equals two. Well, it simplifies to two times integral from zero to a of f of x dx. But if f is odd, meaning that the f of negative x equals to negative f of x, then basically the integral from negative a to a of f of x equals zero, and this just cancels out. So make sure to watch that video in the link below to get a better idea of this. Basically, I'm gonna go over these two examples. I'll go over example one right now, in which states basically integral of negative, uh, integral of x to the power of six plus one from negative two to two. Yeah, so now let's look at this example. Basically, uh, when we look at this, the inside function basically we have f of x equals to x to the power of six plus one. So before we find integral, we could check if this is an even or odd function. Pretty obvious that it, it's an even one because this is an even power, or you could even just plug in negative x inside. So f of negative x equals to negative x to the power of six, and then plus one. But this is uh, anything to the power of an even number, it's just gonna be positive. So this is the exact same thing as of going x to the power of six plus one. So this is basically equal to f of x. So this is an even function right here. So we could write this as basically equals to, just simplify it as integral from zero to two, well, two times this now. So integral from zero to two, but multiplied by two of x to the power of six plus one dx right here. Now we can go ahead and solve this. So put a two in here. So now the, the uh, antiderivative or integral of x to the power of six that is just, well, x to the seven, and then always, always divided by seven. Because when we take derivative, this seven goes down, and this cancels out. So now we have plus the integral of one, or antiderivative of one, is just x right here. And now this is from zero to two right here. So now we could go ahead and plug these in. So we'll get uh, basically two times x to the power of, I mean, two to the power of seven. So two to the power of seven divided by seven then plus this one is two, and then all, all, then this one we have to subtract, well, zero to the power of seven divided by seven plus zero. This is just minusing zero, everything is zero there when we plug in this. So this way is we simplify this greatly instead of having to put in negative two inside. So now we have this, we could solve this further. If you plug this into a calculator, two to the power of seven is 128. So we'll get two times, 128 divided by seven. And this one, I'll just write this as a denominator of seven. This is just plus, just to make it easier to add up, 14 over seven. 14 divided by seven is just two, so that's the same thing. So we have this part, now we can add these up. This will just be, well, this is gonna be, let's see, one, 128 plus 14, that is 142. So we go equals to two times 142 divided by seven and multiply by the two. This will just be equals to 284 over seven. You could plug into the calculator and you'll get this same answer. So there's our answer for that one. So now let's look at example two, which is integral from uh, negative one to one of 10 of x divided by one plus x squared plus x to the power four dx right here. Yeah, so here I've written this example down over here. And now, once again, we could uh, double check uh, whether this is an even or odd function. Well, when the easy way to look at it, if there's, if there's even powers everywhere, then those are even. But then this tan of x, like I showed in my last video, basically, that the um, this tan of x is an odd function right here. You could even, so yeah, so what I mean by that, let's just plug in let's say f of negative x inside, we'll get basically yeah, equals to, this one is uh, 10 of negative x, and this is gonna be one plus, well, negative x squared, yeah, and then plus negative x to the power of four right here. Yeah, and like always, at the bottom there are all uh, gonna be, well, negative x to the power of two squared or anything even is always gonna be the same thing, it's gonna be positive. So then we could just write all these ones out, one plus x to the power of squared and plus x of four, 
But like I showed in my earlier video, tan of x, tan of negative x, or, or the tangent function is odd. So we could plug this uh, negative, take the negative out to be tan of x. And you can see the proof of this in the video link below. So now that we have this, this is the same thing as writing negative, uh, basically, f of x. So the exact same thing. So then this is basically odd. So if it's odd and we're going from negative 1 to 1, they're just going to cancel out. So basically, uh, this is going to be equal to 0. Yeah, now basically this helps save a lot of time because yeah, you could even go and solve this with uh, 1 and negative 1 and you're going to get this this answer of 0 that everything's going to cancel out. And it basically saves a lot of time. It's an odd function going from a negative 1 to 1, negative 2 to 2, etc. It's all going to be 0. Anyways, that is all for today. If you learned from this video, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.